Did you know that we don't just pray for ourselves? That's right. We can pray for other people too. That's right. I'm Buckle. And I'm Ila. And welcome to The, the Link, Link Show. Show. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Ling Show. It's so good to have you with us today. We are getting so close to the Christmas holidays, and Isla, guess what's next week? We're starting Christmas. We're starting our Christmas series next week. I'm so excited. But Buckle, what are we doing today? Well, today, as always, we've got a fun craft, but for this one, you can print the craft out, but instead, you can actually draw it yourself. We're going to do that in just a moment. After that, we're looking at your art and crafts. Yep, you are so talented. We love seeing everything you do every single week. After that, we're going to be taking a look at today's animated Bible story and then paying attention because Isla, what's right at the end? The Bible quiz. The Bible quiz, that's right. So make sure you're paying attention. But here's what we need to do. We've got some paper. We're actually going to do the first bit now before we go to the preach. We're going to grab a pencil or a pen and I'm going to trace my hand. So take a look at this. Do it nice and fast. I know I have a very big hand. Yours might be a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to put a little line across there. And so you can do a hand like this and then we're going to color it in and then we're going to cut it out because what we're going to do is stick them all on the wall to remind us that we can pray. And we're going to stick them on the wall to remind us that our prayers and actions can help others. But we're going to get going on this while you go check out Preach Part 1. Okay, so last week when we talked about prayer being talking to God and asking for his help and to become friends with him, when we spoke about it, we were talking about how that prayer was for our benefit. Like we're asking God for help because we needed help. But today I want to talk about the fact that your prayers and your actions can actually help other people as well. And so I've got a really quick story for you. When I was at school, one day mum had said, okay, pack your own lunch. We were learning to pack our own lunch. And so I put a heap of food in my lunchbox and I put more food in my lunchbox than I normally would. Instead of making one sandwich, I actually made two because I was feeling really hungry. And so I got to school and what happened that day was that one of my friends had forgotten to bring their lunch. And so all of a sudden I'm sitting there with twice as much food as I would normally have. And my friend is sitting across from me and he had none. And so I had to make a choice. I could have kept all that food for myself. I had more than enough. Or I can make a decision that my actions could help somebody else. I could give that person what I have. And so I decided that I was going to give my friend the extra food that I had brought. And so because of that, we both had lunch. But here's the thing, you don't just have to give things to people. Did you know you can also give your prayers to other people? If you've got a friend that's feeling upset or lonely, you can pray for them that they would feel better and maybe that they would make a friend, that they wouldn't feel lonely anymore. Maybe if you've got a friend that doesn't have enough and maybe you don't have anything to give them, you can pray for that person that God would give them what they need. Or if you've got a friend that's feeling sick or unwell, did you know you can pray for them to be healed? You see, in the Bible, there are stories of people that would go and use their prayers and their actions, not just for themselves, but they would use their prayers and their actions to help other people. And so a little later on, we're going to look at a story in the Bible of two men that didn't have anything valuable to give to somebody else, but instead they gave their prayers to that person. And we're going to see how that turned out. Plus, we're going to learn how we can use our prayers and our actions to help our friends too. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. Welcome back. Let's have a look and see what we've done. We'll start with Isla's. Show us yours. We haven't cut Isla's out yet, but she's done her hand and you've seen we've gone around the outside and made it a little bit thicker just to make it easier to cut. And uh, Isla, look at all your colours. Tell us what patterns you've done. So on the palm of the hand, I've done a really cool pattern and then just done straight through it. Oh, you've done love hearts. I love the love hearts. They're so special. For the fingers, I've done really cute. Like you did fingernails. Nails. Look at that. And I'll show you my one because mine's cut out now. So there's mine. I've just done lots of different patterns and I did some cool squiggly shapes in the middle and I've cut it out. So what we can do is we can stick these to the wall and we've got a cool thing your teacher can print out that says that our prayers and our actions can make a difference. It can make a difference in other people's lives. And so I think right now we should take a look at all of your arts and crafts because I want to see what different crafts you did last week.
Welcome back. Let's go see today's animated Bible story. Say hello to Peter, one of Jesus' disciples. And Peter would travel around just like Jesus, telling people of God's love. And one day, Peter and John were walking to the temple to pray. Now, on their way there, they encountered a man who had never been able to walk, not for his entire life. The man would get carried to the gate of the temple every day and would ask people for money as they walked past. And sure enough, he saw Peter and John coming. He called out to them, please, will you give me some money? And so Peter and John walked over to the man. Peter said to the man, look at us. We don't have any silver and we don't have any gold, but we do have something that we can give to you. And the man was excited. Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. Peter reached out his hand and grabbed the man and pulled him up. And all of a sudden, the man's legs were healed. He could walk and not just walk, he could run and jump. The man kept leaping around, praising God at the top of his voice. The man went into the temple with Peter and John and the people inside couldn't believe their eyes. They said to each other, wait, isn't that the man who is at the gate asking for money? How is he walking? And so Peter stepped up and said, why are you so surprised? Do you think that we healed this man with our own power? No, of course not. It's God's power. And he encouraged all of the people to turn away from their sins and follow God. Okay, so this story, it's amazing. We got Peter and we got John. They're going to the temple. They're going to church. They're going to spend time with God. And they come across this man that's never been able to walk. And he's sitting there asking for money. And Peter says, I don't have any money. Can you imagine that man must have been sad. He's like, oh, these people don't have any money. Hopefully somebody else has money. And so probably looked away from Peter and John to try to find somebody else to ask. But then Peter continues and he says, okay, hold on, hold on. I may not have any money to give you, but I do have something that I can give you. And I'm sure the man thought, what have you got? Do you have food? Maybe you've got clothes or a blanket for me. And instead, Peter prays for him. He declares Jesus' healing over his life. He says, in the name of Jesus, stand up and walk. And the man is healed. He stands up and the Bible goes on to say he started walking and then he started jumping and he started celebrating. And I think that that is an even better gift for that man than what money would have been. And so for us, we should be generous with our things, being generous with your pencil case and your pencils and your textures and your toys and your sporting gear. We should always share those things with other people because our actions can make a difference. But you know what I think we should also share with our friends? I think we should share our prayers with our friends. The Bible says if someone's sick that we can pray for them to get better. And so why don't you take some time today and do two things. Number one, have a look in your bag or in your pencil case and find something you can be generous with. Let's use our actions to be generous and help other people. But number two, why don't you find someone that you can pray for and how about we give our prayers to that person as well. So why don't you try and do that and I'm going to try and do the same as well because our prayers and our actions can make a difference. Hey Buckle, what is it time for? It's time for the Bible quiz. The way this is going to work is we're going to ask you a question with two possible answers. If you think the first answer is correct, put your hands on your head. If you think the second answer is correct, put your hands on your shoulder. Here we go with question number one. In today's story, what were the two people's names? Was it Peter and John or was it Justin and James? You've got five seconds. Okay, Isla, what's the answer? Was it Peter and John? It was Peter and John. So hands on heads. Here we go with question number two. Why was the man sitting at the gate? Was it because he wasn't able to walk or was it because he wasn't able to sing? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? Was it because he couldn't be able to 
walk here, he wasn't able to walk and so he would sit by the gate and that leads us to question three, what was the man doing at the gate? Was he asking people to dance for him or was he asking people to give him money? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? To give money to That's him. right, he was asking people to give him some money. And then he saw Peter and John coming. And so question number four, what did Peter say when he asked them for some money? Did he say, I don't have any money, but I'll give you what I have? Or did he say, I don't have any money, so leave me alone? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? I don't have any money but I'll give you what I have. That's right, I don't have any money, but I'm going to give you something that I do have. And so that leads us to question number five. What happened when they went to help the man? Was the man healed and so he could walk again? Or did the man get given a free pizza? You've got five seconds. Isla, what do you think the answer is? Could he walk again? He was healed and he was able to walk again. And I love that we learned today that our prayers and our actions don't just help us. That's right. It can help other people too. Yay. I love that. So special. My name is Buckle. And my name is Isla. And we'll see you next week on The, the Link, Link Show. Show. Bye. Bye.